Hello guys, it is hard to attack here, and today I'm going to show you how to use DX Story. <laughs> So, we're in the first little box, which you don't really need to know, it's called Target. You don't really need to do anything in here. The whole time I ever used the X Store, I never changed anything in here. Setting is overlay settings. So, you want to hit use default setting if it's not already on. You want to click video FPS. You do not need red FPS. This tells you how much your like drive's getting rid to. So, like it says, the drive's getting rid to 30 megabytes a second, that means you're getting 30 FPS. That's what the video is going to look like. It's going to look like 30 FPS. Um, and then you have non recording size color, which you can change by deciding the things or just, you know, clicking on and clicking OK. And then this box has like where you want the FPS to be in your game. You can have it in the middle top, middle corner, middle, like other corner, uh, or you can just disable it. Then the next one is folder settings. So in here, you, there will be nothing. So you want to click the way add folder sign. And I do recommend clicking on a like drive that gets about 150 megabytes a second, and that isn't your main drive. I just select my main drive because you know I feel like it. <laughs> yeah, my main drive got 88 uh, megabytes a second, but I am right into it right now because I am recording as well. But you do want a drive that gets about 150 megabytes a second to get a smooth FPS while recording. So the next one you go to is hotkey. So here it will like have everything. The, the, this one might be like F12, so you won't. So every time you go to record, you press F12 to start recording, or F12 to stop recording. Then you can have push to talk, you can have screenshot, you can have high speed screenshot, which I don't know what that means, start stop screenshot, over repeat, you know, all these different things. I assume it's more, you press X to like, get rid of them all, you know, like you do. And the next one you go to is movie. So click that. Then in the codec, you don't need a codec. You just you can just leave it what it was. Uh, or you can download the codec and put it in that way, but I'm not gonna show you how to do it in this video, this video is very basic. Then beside that you click the wee like what even is it like tool sort of like that thing. You click true quality or you can have low quality, but low quality is really really bad. Even if you are recording in 1080p it looks shit. Then you wanna click the compress option and then OK. So below that is clipping, you don't need to do anything, margin, you don't need to do anything, frame rate, you want to put as 60 or 30, you don't want to go 120, you don't want to go below 20 or 10, because they're really bad. Then you want to do output, file output, you don't want directional output, you just want file, file format, you want AVI, and then in the options, include mouse overlay, it's like when you're recording, they can see your mouse, or you can take that off, so there's no mouse there. Oh, included overlay is when you're recording, they can see what FPS you are getting on the game that you're recording. And synchronized video FPS is it will lock your FPS up to the frame rate you have chose up here. But I do not recommend doing that. Scaling, you don't need to know. It's just, you just leave it. So here you have your audio. So I already have my Razer Kraken headphones like as the main audio and then the second audio stream is my headphones for the, no, my microphone for the race brackets. So it will record two separate audio streams and one of them will be the headphones, one of them will be the microphone. The next one is screenshot settings, so you don't really need to do anything, everything here should be fine. You can tweak it if you want, but not my fault if you break it, I told you not to touch anything. Next one you don't need to do anything in, the next one you don't need to do anything in, on the one after that you do not need to do anything in. If you have any problems, tell me in the comments and I will try to help you out as best as I can.